Yeah, man. Uh, I'm still talking about uh, this. This uh, what they call the United States of America. See, that's a that's a thought. That was a thought in somebody's mind. It's not tangible. You know, it's a. Uh, uh, Sort of like a, a dream, or not even a dream. It's a, it's a place in the minds of uh, Caucasians. They had to have. We'll put it like this. What I'm trying to say is that. Uh, it's not real unless you unless you uh, want to accept it for being real these laws that uh, that we that uh, traffic laws and, and stuff like that that they put on us it's all a gimmick man it's all it's all uh, and it's impractical you know, uh, now the laws, the natural laws, thou shalt not kill and thou shalt not commit adultery and, and other laws that's natural, that has a reason, you know, and a meaning and a logical explanation and conclusion that makes sense. It's really is it's, it's really is wisdom. But <clears throat> what the United States of America is an impractical concept. That's what it is. It's a concept, and it's impractical. You know. Uh, It's unnatural. That's why it's in the shape it's in today. And it was put together by an unnatural being that we, we call it the Caucasian. I'm sorry, you uh, white man, you know. I can't blame you for, for trying to stay on Try to stay alive, try to stay off the top, you know. If I was in your shoes, you know, I'd probably be doing the same thing. But see, I, we ain't got to sweat, sweat it, said he. You know, it ain't all that, all like that, you know, what you think. You know, we ain't got to sweat this, man. We gonna, we gonna win. We winning now. After 400, 500 years of the harshest treatment ever known to man and mankind, we ain't dying, we multiplying, man. So, but what I'm trying to get the get the y'all youngins to see is that, you know, don't buy into this concept. Don't, you know, think this is a reality. This ain't real unless you make it real in your own mind. You know, uh, this place called the United States. So it, it wasn't called that at first. When uh, when Columbus sailed over here, the, the the natives living over here, the Native Americans and living over here in this part of the hemisphere, they had their name for it. You know, they they had their name for it, and uh, whatever they called it, uh, they probably each each uh, nation or tribe had their own probably name for it. 
but uh, the Native, uh, the Caucasian was living over there in Europe, over there in England, just got out the cage not too long ago, and he's exploring his, he's exploring this uh, planet, Earth, trying to see what's on it, you know, and uh, so he ran across this land and seen uh, these people different from himself. He had never seen these type of people before. And he decided to, you know, take it over. And he said, I'm going to name it what I want to name it. I'm going to do what I want to do. Then uh, have these people submit to me. Matter of fact, I'm going to conquer them. What is ever on this planet, I'm going to take it over and make these people submit to me because they differ from me. They're not like me, you know, and uh, we're going to just take them over. And that's what he's been doing. And he, he got a concept in his head called America, United States of America. And... His people, you know, they, they can dig it. You know, they say, hey, yeah, we can dig it. You know, we're going we gonna to support this concept, buy into it. And they did it. And now, four or five hundred years later, they, they say, oh, yeah, we, we did it. What you going to do about it? <laughs> you can't do nothing about it now. You know, we, we got weapons that, you know, will annihilate you off the planet. But what you going to do about it? So you know what? We got, I'm with uh, what uh, Born Master Mind Allah say. We got mind power over there. We got a head start on that. Why we choose not to use... Uh, our mind and the powers that we have, it puzzles me, you know. The only thing I can say is that we didn't got used to uh, not having, we didn't got used to the condition that we're in and we're comfortable in it even though we don't like it, but we know to make a change it's going to be hard work and you know we ain't gonna be able to, you know we might not be able to live up to who who we say we are so so we in doubt of ourselves you know so uh this, yeah this is black light and uh i'm gonna come back with another one and then i'm gonna call it a night it's black light <laughs>